your boy cool j all the way from south africa we are going to get back to business today we're going to be talking about the best qbase plugins that you mustn't miss these are the plugins that you must be very careful to utilize whenever you are mixing and mastering your songs and then we are going to go through them one by one i'm on my qbase 5 here i've already added a channel maybe for the beginners let me show you how to add a channel you right click your mouse and you come to audio track and then you add your audio track ah yes so in order for us to master or to show you these plugins i must come to insert where i can insert all the plugins one by one or i can choose to just come here on this e where we can edit channels uh, channel settings and then here I am. All right. The first plugins that I would say is one of the best plugins in, in Cubase is the gate. Why gate? A gate reduces the noises, the background noises that might take place when you are busy recording your audio tracks. So for your sound to sound professional and clean, you must use the plugin the gate plugin we find plugin we find this plugin on dynamics and it is the four it is there under expander and on top of the limiter you click your gate so there is a gate setup that works well or that will work well for you which is the clean lead vocal vox it uh, vox and then the second uh the second plugin will be the eq the eq will give you will shape your, your your vocals to sound much better from the original recording uh it might make your voice thin or thick so we find EQ straight from EQ. You can choose to use EQ10, EQ30, Studio EQ. These ones, they come with QBs, the rest I've added. So in most cases, not always, but in most cases, I prefer the EQ10. And then you can play around it. Uh, you can play around with the first one, two, three. These are the bars channels. So make sure that every time they are down and then here we have a few filters like your echo and other filters but then the last three is your twitter uh, channels this one in most cases i put it under on five you can put it on six depending on the type of a song that i'm making but in this scenario let us put five and then the one in the middle i always put 10 not always sometimes most of the times i put 10 but i can play around it even up to 12 depending on the compression of my vocal so in this case let us use 10 and then the one here you also put on five and then you must have a triangle shape some people can go to an extent of putting this on zero and just use these two it can still work for you it can still bring this one for your vocals to sound more bold but you can play around it as you're mastering your vocals and then there is also eq 30 studio eq 30 which i use sometimes you can check it out play around it and see how it works for you or you can also use the eq 10 i mean eq 30 if it works for you but all in all whatsoever type of eq you are using just make sure that your vocals have eq and then the next vocal will be the compressor i find compressor on dynamics this is your compressor you will play around it i'm not teaching you to master or to mix at this point you can play around your your your, your compression this is the threshold which will determine how thin or how thick your voice will sound the moment you change here on this threshold you will see even the shape of this uh, 
rectangle changing let's put it on 30 for an example minus 30 and then you will see to which shape it's going to transform to do you see it went down a little bit and if you can take the ratio up to five it also changes so play around it and play around your attacks and your hold and your release but just make sure that your analytics is always on 100 your analysis that's what i prefer most of the time and then here you can play around your minus 19 your minus 20 and your minus 19 minus 20 minus 22 minus 23 and on the ratio as well you can play around it they gave you the space to play around it so it's totally up to you as to how far you want to go and then you can also unclick the markup here to increase the volume of the compression all this is totally up to you based on how you want to sign how you want to sound and then the next plugin i will have on this is going to be the deaza i found the deaza under dynamics is the deaza just beneath compression deaza the deaza is to remove this noise you know when you record with your microphones there's going to be a lot of ccs and then those things can be uh can be annoying to the listeners or to the to the followers of your music so to avoid such sounds or noise to take place use the deaza the default you can use the default you can if you're a female you can use the female if you're male you can lose the male light the male heavy but the most important thing is that you must click the auto threshold and you must click the gender of the person that you are mixing there so and on the reduction you see the root c your i mean s reduction so you are reducing the s's my apology not that s's but the s from your mouth you are reducing the level of the s's so if you it moves from zero zero means that there's no reduction at all you can move up to 10 based on the type of microphone and the eq that you have, uh, you have in place all right thank you and then the next plugin that i will encourage you not to miss is the reverb reverb is one of the most important plugin you find it under reverb and there's your reverb there's your reverb so you can play around different reverbs from these channels you can choose which type of reverb you want to have let's say for this uh scenario let's use what let's use uh let's use vocal plate right this is your pre delay uh it determines how your voice will follow up each other if you don't want it you can put it on zero and this is the reverb type uh, it will determine how much of reverb or how much of a reverb room that you are going to have if you increase it you can see it's expanding if you put it back you can see it's going back and then like that so you can adjust it as you are listening to the voc to your vocals and here's the level of reverb that you're going to have you can put it from zero up until 100 you can play around it based on how you want to sound and then uh the other plugin which is very important is the limiter the limiter i prefer limiter over a maximizer because a limiter will reduce unnecessary pitches on your voice the limiter will reduce unnecessary sound on your voice and it will also maximize the most important part of your vocals it will balance those uh, 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 vocals which are at a lower level and bring them up to the level where the rest of the vocal is playing at so your limiter you can just play around it here input don't touch the output for your vocals you don't have to touch the output just play around the input it will increase the volume of your vocal play around the input play around the input and then you can take it from there but if you want to play around it you can also come inside here uh, and choose if you are recording if you are mastering your vocal baking vocals you can choose the baking vocals you see it gave us a different setup you can choose your if you're mastering a lead vocal you can choose to use the mastering jazz setup you can choose the mastering light peak limiting 
and some of and some of these limiters are for instrumentals like your beat so you can play around it from this place all right and then what will be the next plugin these are the most top one two three four five six the most top six uh plugins but then you can add your da tube on distortion you can add the da tube this also bolden your voice you can choose you can play around here the drive you can play around the drive you can play around the balance you can play around the output and then you can also click enter here and choose an automated setup that you would like to utilize and then last but not least but most important is the auto tune we most of the recording artists they need auto tune so you can download auto tune from google just go to google and search for auto tune 5 auto tune ever whatever auto tune you're comfortable with at this time and moment i only have auto tune 5 and 6 so i use this most of the time this how this is how your auto tune will look like i have, I have another tutorial on how to use the auto tune you can check it out on my from my youtube channel i won't have to go through this one and then that's it these are the best plugins that you need or you might need on every song that you are going to record this will make your song sound much better and professional uh until we meet each other again thank you for watching please before you leave subscribe to my channel share this video with upcoming artists and upcoming producers and then together we can go far thank you bye